Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of CS Slurps Ramen Hack Wednesdays. Every two weeks, I bring you a different ramen hack on how you can really spruce up your instant noodles. And no, I'm not just talking about adding an egg and green onions to your dish. I'm actually talking about different recipes that incorporate ramen noodles uh, as a cheap and effective, easy way to incorporate into real meals. So this week I am making a South Korean favorite. I am making rapoki. And basically rapoki is ramen. So Korean ramen and dukboki, which is Korean rice cakes. It's stir fried together in this spicy, a little bit sweet of a sauce, mix of fish cake, scallions, onions, cabbage, sometimes some American cheese, egg, and it's like so delicious. It's spicy, it's wonderful, and it only takes a few minutes to put together. So enough of me talking, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we've got our slew of ingredients. Don't be overwhelmed, seriously. We've got some onions here, some garlic cloves, green cabbage. We've got our fish case, you can find this in the frozen section in the Korean store. Gochujang, dashi powder, gochugaru, which is a Korean dried chili flake, soy sauce, some free range eggs, honestly makes a difference, granulated sugar, and we've got some instant noodles here. I'm just using whatever one they don't like. And I also have green onions and then some homemade dukboki rice cakes. So I'm gonna begin by chopping up my scallions, just like so, I'm just using about three. Uh, same thing, I'm gonna be slicing my onions here, just slicing them straight through. Start by mincing up those garlic cloves. You want them nice and fine. And then the same thing here, just chopping up our green cabbage. Seeing a similar trend? <laughs> and then I'm just gonna be cutting up my fish cakes just into triangles, just like so. They cook really quickly. And we're gonna add to our garlic some granulated sugar, some gochugaru, so those dried, ch um, those dried chili flakes, I cannot speak right now. <laughs> We've got nice, big, heaping tablespoons, about three to four, I'd probably go with four for gochujang, and one tablespoon of soy sauce. Lastly, we're gonna go with one tablespoon of dashi granules. Mix that all together when it is all incorporated, just like so. You'll see it will form a nice paste. And then we're gonna cut our hard boiled eggs just in half here. Now we're gonna add three cups of water to a fairly, I guess, deep skillet. As long as it comes up from the side, you should be fine. We're gonna bring up the heat there on medium high and add in our soup base. So that's our, our paste with the garlic and the gochujang, soy sauce, all that stuff. And our dashi powder, you can see it dissolving. Bring it up to a boil, add your onions or cabbage, all of those yummy, yummy, yummy fish cakes, and bring it up to a boil. You want it to be nice and bubbly. Then we're gonna add our green onions, and then we're gonna slowly add in our dokboki, and those are gonna cook up pretty fast. Just make sure you um, stir the liquid on top, and then last but not least, nestle in those instant noodles, and just bring everything to a boil, until everything becomes nicely cooked and make sure to eat this up right away. I love this dish so much. It's a total comfort food. Oh yeah, I forgot. Don't forget to add those eggs in, those additional green onions and a little bit of sesame seeds too if you want to garnish. You can also make this stove top as well on um, one of those portable uh, ovens as well. And yeah, as I said, eat it up right away. Maybe add a slice of American cheese. If you like this recipe, don't forget to like, rate, and subscribe in the link down below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell just at the top right-hand corner so you don't miss any new videos that are coming out. We'll see everyone next week. Bye!